Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Today we'll be taking a look at this uh, rather large package I got from uh, DHL. I can't even fit it inside uh, the frame. This was sent to me for free by uh, Banggood and it's uh, electronics related. I'm kind of uh, excited about this uh, product. I was uh, planning on getting one of these for a long time and I think it will be really useful in the lab and you'll be seeing this in uh, other videos to come. So let's open the bag and see what I got. So now the product should be obvious. I got one of these uh, desoldering guns. This one is model S993A. It costs around uh, $100 or maybe $90 with uh, free shipping on uh, banggood.com and once again uh, thank you Banggood for sending me this uh, item. Let's see what we get inside. A uh, Chinese user manual. I don't think we'll be using this manual. Okay, so uh, it kind of uh, looks bigger than uh, than I expected. This is how it looks into my hand. The uh, I think it's well balanced. Like uh, most of the weight uh, is distributed on the uh, center point. But it's definitely bigger than uh, what I expected. So uh, this must be like an Australian plug, not sure. But I will be cutting this one away and I will be installing uh, an European plug. Let's see what else we get in here. So these needles I'm pretty sure are used for uh, cleaning the uh, nozzle on the soldering gun and these two uh, small pads are some spare filters. And in here there must be a stand. Yeah. So this is how the gun looks like when it's sitting on the stand. It's quite a strange looking stand but it's heavy and sturdy and uh, you also get this uh, storage bin area where you can sit your cleaning sponge or the uh, different tips for the gun. This is the 220 volts model and uh, make sure you get it right when ordering because they do have two different models 110 volts and uh, 220 volts. I will place links for both of those in the description below the video. Like I mentioned, this is a desoldering gun and will make desoldering through hole components much easier because it integrates a heating element and a suction pump which sits right here. While hitting the solder with a separate iron and then using a solder sucker to extract the solder might be the cheaper option, it certainly isn't ideal. And I have spent many hours repeating that maneuver while dreaming of this kind of uh, desoldering gun. And I will do a demonstration a bit later on the video on how this works so much better. Well, this is not a known brand, it's uh, just $100 with free shipping, so I don't care about the brand. You could go pro or better said uh, semi-pro and the cheapest option I think it's a Heco at uh, $300 or similar. And for a tool that's only used occasionally, I would not invest that much. I'm not even considering a JBC or a Weller because those tools sell for prices way out of my reach. The temperature should be adjustable with uh, this potentiometer on the handle, but don't expect too much precision on this adjustment and you wouldn't uh, need the precision anyways on these soldering jobs. The heating element is rated for 90 watts according to the product description so I think it should be capable of uh, melting pretty much anything if that rating is real. In fact let's do our first test and uh, 
try to measure the uh, min and max temperature this will reach. So I have the gun set to minimum right now. Let's try to apply some solder to the tip. Yep, it melts right away. Now let's measure the temperature. It's about 375 degrees Celsius. So that is uh, about 25 degrees Celsius higher than uh, what's uh, written right here on this adjustment pot. But like I said, I don't expect too much uh, precision from this uh, adjustment. Now let's also try the maximum temperature. You can see the LED is signaling the heating element is turned on. And the maximum temperature is around 450 degrees Celsius. It's now reaching 460 degrees. So like I said, this should cover pretty much all uh, desoldering needs. It, you should be able to desolder uh, even uh, big MOSFET transistors at this uh, temperature and at this rated power. I'm going to try to desolder this uh, DB9 connector. Well, the uh, four bottom pins, I'm going to try to desolder them uh, manually using this uh, solder sucker pump and uh, my soldering iron. Well, I'm going to do the uh, uh, shield uh, joints and these uh, upper five solder joints with the uh, desoldering gun. And we're going to be comparing the results. First of all, I'm going to try to apply some uh, leaded solder because that will certainly help. Also keep in mind that this is a multi-layer board, so there probably are a couple of internal layers connected to these uh, pads. That will make uh, desoldering even more difficult. The soldering iron is set to 300 degrees, but I could increase this to 350. This should help with the uh, desoldering. So the uh, the way this works is uh, you hit the pad. You need to apply the heat for a bit more uh, time than usual to transfer the heat to the internal layers. And then you just suck the solder. It looks like I got some pretty decent results, certainly better than uh, what I was expecting, but uh, you see they're, they're, the holes are not uh, perfect, there is still solder catching onto those pins, and especially on this uh, larger uh, pad, it is impossible to get all the solder with uh, a classic desoldering pump. So now let's switch to the automatic desoldering gun and see how that works. So this is the first problem I'm encountering with this uh, nozzle. It's just uh, too small to fit over this uh, hole. So I'm not sure we we're going to be able to do this one. So as you can see with the exception of that joint that I need to retry, uh, the holes are very clean and the part will just come right off when I pull on the connector. But regarding this large uh, shielding pad, the nozzle is just isn't big enough to cover this pad to be able to properly suck all the solder from the hole. Because all the suction is lost if the nozzle doesn't fit over the joint. So this is uh, one of the problems. You need to have uh, multiple 
uh, nozzles with different sizes to be able to accommodate all the different pads that you might find in your uh, desoldering jobs. Now it's pretty easy to imagine how things will go if you have to desolder, for example, one of these, uh, I don't know, what is this, 40 pin uh, dual inline header. So you would have to work the pump 40 times, at least 40 times, because you will, sometimes you come back and uh, retry on some of the joints and you still don't clean the, the solder completely from the uh, plated holes. So a desoldering gun would help you remove such a connector much faster with much better results and uh, you actually have a chance of uh, reusing that part because you're not destroying it in the process of desoldering. And let me tell you that happened a lot of times to me in the past while I was using uh, this manual pump and uh, the soldering station I was uh, insisting on some of the connectors or the parts too much and the heat just uh, damages the, the part if it's applied for long periods of time. Now I'm also going to tell you the uh, issues I have with this product and uh, I'm gonna have to start with the price of the uh, spare nozzles. They're like seven dollars a piece and that just seems too expensive for a simple nozzle. They even go for ten bucks or more on eBay and uh, depending on how I can work with the default one I might have to buy at least a second one a different size for working on uh, various boards also the nozzle might wear out over time and it might need replacement so you would want to keep one as a spare also the handle is not very ergonomic it's kind of a straight shape and uh, just doesn't feel uh, very well very natural when holding it in the hand working with this for a longer time might not be so comfortable but having to choose from a $300 Heco which might have a better handle and uh, this one I would still choose this one because it's very good value for money and uh, it gets the job done. I mean it's uh, one third of the price of the Heiko and I'm not sure if on the performance I don't have the Heiko to compare it with but you saw it earlier how it uh, cleaned those plated holes of solder they were just left clean so in terms of performance I think it's pretty good. Now the only thing I would like to see is how it holds up uh, in time if any wear develops on uh, any of the critical parts and so on. So my final thoughts on this uh, desoldering gun, I highly recommend it. It's not just because I received it for free, I was planning on getting one for, for a long time and uh, now that I finally have it, I know from now on my uh, desoldering jobs will be much cleaner uh, and much fa much faster to do and I might even uh, be able to do uh, higher quality repairs by not stressing the board so much on the desoldering process. So especially if you're in the repair business you need to get yourself one of these. Either this uh, cheap version, uh, 100 bucks or if you'd like to go uh, for a Heiko one which is 300 bucks either one would be fine for you. So don't forget to check out the uh, links in the description. I placed uh, some links to Banggood for this desoldering gun. Also let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, review. I would love to hear your feedback and I will see you next time.